Hi guys, welcome back to Heartbeats Vanity. You guys are here for another tarot reading and I have another special guest starring in this episode today. Her name is Carly Holden and she's just a fabulous person. Her aesthetic is freaking on point and I just feel super blessed to be able to do a quick tarot reading for her and as well just get this experience because I will say that when I first started my journey with YouTube, I, I, was a fan instantaneously of her family vlogs. And then I found out that she had a personal channel and it just, the fandom, you know, grew from there. So, ah, I'm so nervous. I shouldn't be this nervous, but I feel like this is totally normal and I'm like fidgeting and I'm like, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. But do you guys like my pumpkin back there? I think it's pretty cute. I also have my witch um, broom and a few other little pumpkins, but yeah. So again, I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for you guys today and I'm just going to cleanse my cards with my sage, my white sage. If you guys don't know what sage is, it kind of looks like this and bigger sometimes, but I've used this one quite a bit. Really what it does is it cleans the energy and the spirits and just like the vibrations and any negative thoughts you could potentially have or any negative feelings or you know bad energies that could be out there, this helps clean that space. So the reason I'm cleaning my cards with this today is actually an old practice that Wiccans do or divination artists. They clean their cards to give the cards the best chance at having the most organic reading. Remember that when you're dealing with tarot cards, it's kind of like you're putting your trust into the universe. I'm going to perform my ritual off phone because it's just the best way for me to get my connection and so basically what I do is I take my cards and my deck and I split it or you could say cut it and then I shuffle it two times once and twice my ritual differ differs from each and every Wiccan or witches or divination reader or uh, psychics ritual. Your ritual is solely based off of what you feel is most natural and what you have had the most success with the readings per ritual. So like it took me a long time to figure out my ritual. My ritual is pretty simple. Like I said, all I do is shuffle it twice. I get what's known as white sage and I have a few selected crystals. You also know I love to do crystal reviews and all of that. That I feel will aid in the reading. So it's probably gonna be very hard to light this out here because it's so windy. It's good enough. That was extremely hard. I like to circle through the smoke as many times as I feel necessary. There's no number on this one. And then I like to circle myself and take a few deep breaths. I love the smell of sage. Mm. You wanna make sure that you're safely putting this out, especially if you live in a dry state and you're using it outside. That could be extremely dangerous. So just make sure that everything you're doing is safe. All right, guys, here we go. Carly. I am nervous. Ooh, gotta stay connected though. channel because I will link it for you guys below and I will also put it in an iCard, this little guy up here. Alright, so let's begin. First, I just want to let you know, Carly, that I did my ritual pre-calling you. So, I shuffled my cards twice, saged the cards so that we have the best chance at getting the most organic reading. I was wondering, do you have any specific areas of your life that you want a specific question or a message from the universe, like love, financial, future endeavors, anything like that? Uh, yes. I actually have two different questions, and I was wondering, like, one of them is, like, okay, um, and then the other one is, um, has to do with, um, 
career, like fi- finances, I guess. So okay. and we could probably start with that one, I, I want to say. Okay, absolutely. So um, per reading or per question, there's a certain like setup you can pretty much do for the reading. So this one is going to be a financial reading. That means I'm going to have four separate cards, two meaning like yin and yang, equally bound type situation. So the question for that I want to make sure that you're kind of getting at me is like your future endeavors, your future like financial growth type stuff, right? Or is it more specific? Basically my question, um, I just, I want to know if all of like the effort and all the planning that I've been putting in recently to uh, YouTube and social media and stuff, I just want to know like if it's going to be worth it to me. Yeah. Um, Totally. All right. So I feel connected. I feel like there is definitely a good message coming for you. So I'm just going to pull out my cards and what I'm going to do is just lay them down into that four card space. And you guys, I will insert a picture, um, what this looks like for you guys as we go along. I'm going to flip over the first card and only the first card because that's what the universe is telling me to do. Now you got an upside down or AKA reverse nine of wands. Now the nine of wands is kind of an interesting card because what this means is um, the past. The past for you has been a little bit rocky and that's okay because sometimes the past needs to be rocky to open up and pretty much make room for success and future endeavors and you also learn from the past so a lot of the times the nine of wands card has a um, young boy or a young male figure depending on what kind of deck you have Um, and he's either being trapped or held down by nine wands or something that he loves dearly is being trapped and held down by nine wands. When it's reversed, that means it's a special thing for you to pay attention to from the universe. It's like you definitely need to kind of think to yourself and try to connect that to yourself. Like, have you been, you know, in a little bit of a rocky situation? What have you learned from that? What has it taught you? And hone in on that because that's your guidance. Our mistakes and our and our mishaps and the things that we have done, that's our new guidance for the new future. So like, for example, when a fire takes over a land, everybody thinks that it's the end of the world. Everybody's like, oh no, there's no life. You know, it's burning. You know, how could this happen? And, but little do we all know, and And not a lot of people do know that fire needs to happen. Things need to be burned down to have a new chance. So that's what that card interprets for me. Now let's move on to the second card. Ooh, this one's a good one. Wheel of Fortune. Girl, that is good. It is also upside down (laughs) because basically what that means is in your efforts and your trials and your er and your errors and all the things that you've had to do to learn to get to where you are in your YouTube career and your social media platform, has been something that you've committed yourself to 365 days a year. The wheel of fortune, the wheel of the world. Um, It also can contribute to the Wiccan calendar. So if you've ever kind of looked up anything about like the Wiccan or pagan calendar, it has specific symbols, specific holidays, et cetera, et cetera. But in the essence, in the grand scheme of things, it is essentially a hundred, a whole, it's a whole piece, a whole circle. pretty much essentially that's what it is. So it is also reversed and upside down. That means for for me, I'm interpreting a message that yes, you are going to be successful. You are successful and this will pay out for you because you have such a strong commitment and you grow and you learn from the things, like I said, with the first card that were trials and errors. I'm going to move on to the third card. Ooh, you've got a right side up temperance and that is a major arcana card to get a major arcana card inside of a reading, especially with one such with such a broad, you know, it's kind of like a tell the future type situation. Um, Temperance is referring back to the two other cards. Temperance to me interprets in this moment your ability to remain connected, your ability to remain artistic, your ability to remain true to yourself. And let me just tell you as a personal experience, I have thought that when I've watched your content and and I've seen the way that you handle things on social media. And I think to myself, that's probably a lot of the reason why you have such, you, you can't fool people on the internet. You know what I mean? You can't fool people on the internet. I mean, you can, but you have to be really good at it. Um, you're, you're honest and people see that people see that you, you're not just going to put something out to put something out. You're not going to put lies out there. 
You're not gonna like clickbait to the to the ends of the world. You know what I mean? Like some people literally are not a, like a 180 change from the title to the video. So that is good luck. That's putting good energy into the world. That's what you put out there is what you will receive. You know what I mean? Keep in mind, like I said, it's a major arcana. To get a major arcana is super important just by itself. It doesn't even matter what the major arcana is, just the fact that you got one means that this, this reading is a connective and it's connecting to the right, to the right source, I feel. Last and final card. The Eight of Pentacles. This is almost the most beautiful reading I've ever had because um, I'm not kidding. Oh, I just, I feel so, oh my gosh, oh my God. Okay, girl, hone in, hone in on yourself here. <laughs> Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles, the card itself, the image is, is pointing out to me more than anything. And that's also a very important part in tarot reading. Sometimes the image itself of the card is the message. Pretty much, let me just pull it up to the camera. You'll see it and then I'll send you photos. But it's a fairy and she's harvested um, her garden and she's also invited uh, a lot of her friends to share upon that harvest. So what that interprets to me, and it's also reversed, I forgot to mention that, I apologize. The harvest is the very end, that's the future. That's the future reading for you, it's reversed. The universe wants you to pay attention to that card specifically. Your harvest is everything. What you put into the world is really what you're gonna get out of it, like I said before. And so if you keep working hard and you keep staying true and you keep trying to hone in on your artistic self and you know you, you try to make sure that you're putting out things that make you happy, you're gonna have an abundance of people coming into your life that are good. You're gonna have an abundance of harvest fruits off the tree. The fruit of your tree is going to be very like luscious and nurturing. And that in essence completes the answer to me. And so let me just relay all of this as one big answer to you. We started off with the fact that while yes, we all have had our trials and errors and our hard times and the things that have made us who we are today, you're still committed 365 days a year. You have a calmness about you and an artistic, artistic ability about you that rings true through hundreds and thousands of people. Like literally thousands of people have watched your videos and maybe just one of them you changed your life, but that's enough, you know what I mean? Like if you're touching somebody out in the world in a positive way, you did your job, you know what I mean? And then the end, like I said, is the harvest and it is reversed. So you have two reverse cards, one major arcana card and one minor arcana card. And so from this message, I believe nothing but positivity is gonna happen for you, Carly, because of the fact that you are such a giving and positive person. And that's really, I lost the connection after that, but that's the whole message. Dang. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I'm like crying right now. <laughs> oh, I almost cried too. When I saw when I saw the Eight of Pentacles, I was like, oh my gosh, girl. Like I don't think I've ever, you know, I don't think I've ever had such a great reading. I'm I'm still I'm still new in this. A divination skill is a very um, long, it's like almost a lifetime skill. And thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And I just I'm so happy that this helped you in some sort of way because that's all I want. That's all I want to do is just, you know, help people get messages just from the universe the universe is on your side you know? yeah yeah it's crazy like I don't know I just I felt this like I don't know I don't mean to get like cheesy or anything but like I felt this really weird energy when you started to talk about just the first part and then like yeah. every card after that just like made a lot of sense to me because yeah. like that is like my plan with what I'm doing is I like I want to put out like honest and genuine videos and yeah. you know I, I, I want to be able to like help people through my videos and I don't know it just it all made a lot of sense and it was like kind of overwhelming but like really cool <laughs> yeah well that is that is the gift of this and I I know that you um that you were interested in learning and don't stop. When you feel something, when you feel that energy inside, don't stop, girl, run with it. Run as far as you can, run until you can't breathe and then, then some, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> that's the beauty of this all is that you have this life, you have this this great passion inside of you that I, I can literally almost smell it, you know what I mean? Like that's, <laughs> that's how strong it is. So, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm so happy that that one is, um, that was good for you. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to shut the connection off for that question and all that takes is just a small ritual and then I'll redo that ritual and I'll do it really quick. Okay. Um, all right guys, that concludes my reading with Carly Holden. I just want to thank you guys if you guys are coming from her channel to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a blessed day. I want you guys to know out there that if you guys are in some sort of way in your life, if you guys feel that you need to take a certain path or you guys feel like you want to try something new or you want to reach out to somebody or you want to you want to speak and try to communicate to your to your people online, don't hesitate because you never know what could happen. I think I have made a friend and and I also am a fan and so to to have this is to have this opportunity with Carly to have this reading go so well in my opinion that was the gift for me and if nothing comes of this other than the fact that I feel like I helped somebody out that is enough for me thank you guys so much subscribe and like if you guys want to kiss the stars